Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest, .com. And today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful little realistic, or almost realistic, <laughs> looking bird's nests for your craft projects. Now, when I was on Pinterest, I saw all kinds of different projects using tiny little nests like this. I saw a teacup turned on its side with a spring scene and a bird's nest inside and a ribbon was placed through the handle of the cup to hang and I've also seen the the small vintage um, scenes of birds uh, and they had like a little nest glued in the bottom corner and framed I thought that was really cute and of course um, I've also seen uh, brooches made out of this and um, spoons with uh, a nest glued into the bowl part but the the bowl part was um, larger than your average teaspoon it was more like a soup spoon and I also saw uh, mason jars with woodsy type scenes inside with little nests and I even saw some baby shoes with a bird's nest inside I thought that was cute so there's all kinds of things, all kinds of projects you can use when making these little bird's nests. And these are so easy, you'll be surprised at just how easy this was to put together. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is to buy a box of split ring key tags and there are 50 tags in each box. This I bought from Walmart but they also have this on Amazon as well as any other store with a stationery section. And there are 50 tags to each box. This generally runs anywhere between $4 and $5. So we're going to take one of these out of the box and as you can tell I've already used quite a few. set this aside and I just pull this open like that and toss this and you're going to take a pair of detail scissors with the pointy tips and just cut the paper part out like this and it's not going to be perfect um, some of the paper will be left around the edges but I just try to uh, do my best and get what I can out. It's not going to make a huge difference if there's a little bit of the white paper along the edges here, and I'll show you in a moment. So if there's a little bit of paper around the edges like that, that's fine. Just kind of squeeze it in like that. That's what I do and make sure this is nice and flat and not bent. So that's our, our base and I'll show you how to wrap it. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is a piece of muslin fabric and um, you want it to be an off-white color and what we're basically going to do with this is bulk up <laughs> our little ring to make it look like a nest. Now I am literally down to my last piece here. I'll have to buy more. Okay, I'm going to cut about maybe a fourth of an inch. Okay. Alright, so now as you can see, it is definitely not perfect, but that's just fine for this project. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to do is take your little ring 
and you're going to put a little bit of hot glue here, just enough to hold this, like so. Okay. And then you're just going to take your muslin and just go through the ring like that and just wrap it on around. And as you're wrapping, you're going to overlap like that, okay? Don't worry about it being perfect. Um, it's not going to be at this point. <laughs> Just make sure you're overlapping. And don't worry about the strings. That's fine. It doesn't matter if there's some strings on here. And we're going to trim everything up anyway towards the end. You're going to go around here, around this ring, three times with pieces of muslin. And you'll see how the muslin will bulk up this little ring and make it into a nice fat little nest. So going on around and when we get to the end part I'll show you how I make a little mark so I know where to begin and where to start and um, because if you just start anywhere you're not going to be able to tell by the time you get around and you might end up with an uneven bird nest where it's bulky on one side and not on the other. Okay, now see, I, I've come to the end. So I'm going to go around a second time. That was hard to get off. <laughs> and I'm going to stop here, so I'm going to make a little mark, okay? So then I'll know that I've gone around for the second time. And I'm sure I'll run out of fabric before I get there, so, but that's fine. You know, we'll just cut off some more fabric. And we're just going to continue going on around, overlapping as we go. And I've come to the end of this fabric, so I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue here. And tap it down like that. Now I'm going to cut off another piece that is roughly a fourth of an inch. Okay. And I'm going to glue that on here so I can just continue. Alright, now you can see we're coming close. There's our little mark. Okay, so now we have wrapped it around three times. So I'm going to put another little mark because we're going to wrap it around the third time. Alright. So I'm going to continue doing this off camera and when I get to the very end then I'll be back and I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay so we have our little um, nest completely wrapped and I went in and just cut off the longer strings like this and if there's some short strings 
in there, that's fine. That's not a problem. I just cut off the longer ones. So the next thing you're going to need is some spider web ribbon. Now I took this off a roll and I can't quite remember where I picked this up. I really don't know if it was Michael's or Big Lots. I'm not sure. But um, this is called spider web ribbon because in one of my videos I used this and I didn't know what the name was. And um, someone had told me they called this spider web ribbon. And believe it or not, I was at the Dollar Tree, gosh, maybe maybe three weeks ago, and I was looking in their ribbon section, and look what I found. Now, this is much more narrow than this one, and they only had it in a dark brown that I could see, but I went ahead and bought it just to try it out on these little bird nests to see how it worked out. So um, I don't know if the Dollar Tree still have this or if all of it is completely gone. I'm not sure. I'm going to be looking online on eBay, maybe Etsy or AliExpress and type in the words spider web ribbon and see what pops up for me too because I would like to get some more of this maybe in a silver color. So um, go ahead and cut off about 14 inches of the spider web ribbon. Like that. Now since this is um, a little more wide than the brown one that I showed you. I'm going to cut this right down the middle and it does cut very nicely. I like this ribbon. You don't have to make perfect a perfect line. Just do your best. I'm just cutting down the middle. But these make the prettiest little nests with something this simple. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just smear a little hot glue here. And let's see. I'm going to just place this on here. Like that. Let it dry for a moment or two. probably be better if I used my spatula rather than my finger. <laughs> okay. So now we're just doing what we were doing before. We're wrapping, but I'm overlapping quite a bit like that. And I'm just going to continue doing that. And once I finish with the overlapping with this piece, I'm going to use this one here and do it a second time. So as you can see, it's starting to turn into a little nest. And this is really such an easy process to do these little nests. I mean, you, there's really no way you can mess these up. Okay, so I'm just going to put some little bit of glue here, just kind of smear it on and press this down. This time I am going to use my fingers, pull it down. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue here right next to where I ended to start a new row. 
And then when I finish this, then the fun part starts. And I don't mean that sarcastically. I really enjoy doing the next part. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to finish wrapping this off camera, and I'll be back. Okay, so our little nest is all bulked up, nice and sturdy. And so I'm going to take some of these metallic paint chip cards that I picked up from Lowe's, and I picked up different tones, and I'm going to decide which matches the best for me. Let's see, I'm thinking I'm thinking this this looks pretty good right here. So I'm going to use this card and I'm going to take a one inch hole punch and punch out a couple of uh, circles. If you don't have a hole punch, just find something circular like a bottle cap that you can trace around and then cut it out. And I'm just going to take a small amount of Aileen's Turbo Tacky Glue. But you can use any kind of glue to put this together. Just going to smear it on. Make sure you get the edges, it's important. And then I'm just going to place it like this. And you can place something heavy on it if you would like so the edges won't curl up. Um, you shouldn't have that problem if you use a thin, a thin enough layer of glue, but if you go a little thick, you're definitely going to need that. So, um, just for the heck of it, I'll put something heavy on this, and I'll let it dry for about, oh, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So, um, I'll be back. Okay, so this is nice and solid, and I'm just going to take some hot glue, now you don't want to drop it like that, though. <laughs> Put some on around the edges, like this. Now you'll see a small amount of hot glue in the front. See around the edges like that? But that's fine. It shouldn't be a problem. If you're real worried about it, you can always go in with a toothpick and scrape some off like this in the corners. Oh, it's, mine's pretty hardened now. But like I said, it shouldn't be a problem, and you'll see why next. Okay, so you're going to need some oval beads, and you can find them at any craft store that has a bead section. I believe I purchased these from uh, Michael's, or excuse me, from Hobby Lobby. And these I bought from Michael's a very long time ago. So just look for something that is oval in shape. The tiny little oval beads worked okay in this nest here, but I think I preferred the larger um, pearl beads, but that's just a personal preference. They're both still really cute. These pearls are 8 millimeters tall by 6 millimeters wide. And these little oval shaped um, beads are 6 millimeters tall by 4 millimeters wide. So it's personal preference. So with this particular one, I'm going to be using these beads. And I'm only using three. When you're making your nest, it's best if you put um, your eggs in sets of odd numbers, such as 
three or five, those tend to look a little more realistic in the nest. I'm not sure why, but it tends to look better. So what I did was I took some of the this um, Glossy Accents by Ranger, and this is a very old bottle. I must have bought this at least, oh, I don't know, at least maybe three and a half, four years ago. And I was a little concerned at first because it seemed a little yellowed in the bottle, but I tested it out first on my wax paper and squirted some on here, and I allowed it to dry, and it dried clear. So I'm wondering if, I don't know, if I thought, well, maybe it was the bottle. I'm not sure, but it works, so I'm going to use it. And I did buy a brand new bottle, so. <laughs> and you can find this, I know for sure, at Michael's and um, Joann's. They also have this online. Just type in Ranger Glossy Accents, and this will pop up for you. So I'm just going to squirt some in here. And if it doesn't come out, just take a pen like this and just do that, and it'll come out. Mine's a little slow coming out because there wasn't very much left in the bottom. But as you can see, it's coming out. I'm just going to take the nozzle like this and just kind of scoot it around to get the edges. I want to fill those edges too. Now, I like to take a toothpick once I drop the pearls in the way I want them, like that. And then if you want to make any adjustments, you can do this. I'm kind of making a little bit of an opening there because what I want to do next is add some of this champagne colored tinsel glitter and it's it's a gold color very pretty a light gold now I do know that um, they also now uh, Walmart also now carries the tinsel glitter I'm not sure um, what colors you'll have to check your Walmart but they are bringing the tinsel glitters in not this brand it's um, their their brand but um, you might want to check it out so all I'm going to do is tap some of this in here, making sure I get the very edges too. I'm not going to be shy about it. And basically what I'm doing is I'm filling up the gaps with the tinsel glitter. Gives it a little shine. And I think it works very well. There we go. And I'll brush any little stray pieces like this um, off when it completely dries. I would highly suggest leaving this to dry overnight just to make sure everything is, you know, placed in there and holding really well. Don't be shy with the glitter on the inside. Okay. Now, I'm just going to brush this off around the edges. I am going to put a little bit of this glitter on the edges, but the first thing I'm going to do is take my glossy accents. Just kind of randomly place it here and there on the edges like that. You're not going to cover it, just randomly here and there. And I'm going to put a little bit of the tinsel glitter on the top, but I'm not going to cover it completely 
because I want to um, also put a little bit of this German glass glitter that I bought from Debbie on eBay and her store is Sugar Camp Cottage but she goes by Reed Reed on eBay and I'll make sure to have her link on my blog. You can click on the link on my blog down below in the description box and I'm just putting a little bit here and there like that and I'm not worried about mixing these glitters because I'll be using it on another nest. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a toothpick or a popsicle stick and you want to press that glass glitter flat. You don't want any glass shards sticking up and this um, glossy accents will hold the glass glitter really well. Now I'm going to very quickly tip it over just quickly and of course I'm not going to um, shake it or anything like that I just want to make sure that I got all that glass glitter completely flat now, it worked really well on my other ones and I did a really good job making sure the glass shards were flat now once this dries overnight and you don't need a lot of it it you can see how it glimmers now once this dries overnight I'll come back in with this very soft brush and very gently brush the top just to make sure I have everything and then um, we'll do the rest and I'll show you that after this is dried okay so these are one of the leaves at the Dollar Tree and I just pulled this right off the stem so I'm going to cut this in half just like that and going to look around and see if there's any little strings. I'll cut them off like that. Maybe some little fuzzies here. But other than that, I think this looks pretty good. I'm going to make sure this is a nice even cut at the bottom like that. Or at least the best that I can do. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this little nest right on here. And by the way, I already took a soft brush and got everything out of there that I needed to get that was loose. So I'll place this about like here. So what I'm going to do is place some hot glue right here on the back and place this about like that okay now the next step is I'm going to take some more of this glossy accents that the nozzle here is open. If I can get the pen in there. There we go. And I'm going to squirt some on all of the leaves. Like this. And I'm just going to take my finger and do this. And you can use a brush if you want, I guess, but I find it just as easy to do this with my finger. Make sure I covered the whole leaf. And this will dry and it'll be really pretty and glossy. Just like that. I'm going to put a little more here, I think. So, make sure I get the tips. I'll keep that from fraying. Alright. So now I'm going to allow this to dry overnight. 
and you'll see how beautiful it looks in the morning. Okay, so this is how everything turned out. And as you can tell, this is very glossy looking, but it's completely dry. So I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And I hope you give these a try in your craft projects. So thank you very much, each one of you, for watching. And God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.